world changers, welcome back to another week of the Assembly Kids Online. Today we are finishing our series of all the great comeback stories of the Bible and how God has a comeback story for each and every one of us no matter what the middle of the story looks like. Today we are going to take a look at what happens when things don't go like we've hoped. Our big idea is God knows my needs. He's so good at taking care of each and every one of us. Let's hop on over to the islands to check out a comeback story about a surfer girl named Bethany. At age 13, Bethany Hamilton was living the Hawaiian dream. She was surfing every opportunity she got. She was surfing everywhere, on the waves, but one day, this story comes to a screeching halt because she was surfing one day, this big, massive tiger shark comes out of nowhere, bites her whole arm off and part of her board. Now, you guys would think she would never want to go in the water ever again. Well, you guys are wrong, because one month later, she was back in there surfing with one arm, and two years later, she won her first national title. Talk about an amazing comeback story, because this girl, she was at her lowest point when she, her arm was missing. But God pulled her through, like God can pull you guys through, through any challenges that you may face, because you can always trust in God no matter what. What an amazing comeback story. It's so cool to see a story where things probably didn't turn out like she had hoped, but it was still an amazing comeback. It reminds me of our Bible story today. I love the Bible because every time I read it, God reveals something different. Today, we are going to 1 Kings 17, where we learn about the life of prophet Elijah. Let's check it out. Elijah the prophet spoke to Ahab, the evil king of Israel, and gave him a message. There will be no dew or rain for the next few years unless I command it. This will certainly happen. Oh no! Then God told Elijah to go to a place near a stream. God said the ravens would provide food for Elijah to eat. So Elijah obeyed God. The ravens brought him bread and meat and he drank water from the stream. After a while, the stream dried up because there was no rain in the land. Then God told Elijah to go to a small village. God said a widow in the town would provide for Elijah. So Elijah obeyed God. When Elijah got to the gate of the city, he saw a widow gathering wood. He called to her, please bring me a little water so I can drink. As she went to get it, he added, please bring me a piece of bread too. But the women told Elijah, I don't have bread. I only have a little bit of flour and oil. The woman and her son were planning to eat one more meal before they died from hunger. Don't be afraid, Elijah said. Go and prepare the meal, but first bring me a small loaf of bread. Then make some for yourself and your son. God says you will not run out of flour or oil until rain comes again. So the woman prepared the meal. She, Elijah, and everyone in her household had enough to eat, and she did not run out of flour or oil, just like the Lord had said. Sometime later, the woman's son got sick, and he stopped breathing. Elijah took the boy upstairs and laid him on the bed. He cried out to God, stretched himself out over the boy three times, and cried out to God again. Lord, my God, please let this boy live again, Elijah prayed. The Lord listened to Elijah, and the boy's life came into him again. He was alive. Elijah led the boy to his mother. She said to Elijah, Now I know you are a man of God, and the Lord really does speak through you. God miraculously provided through Elijah to give food to the widow and life to the widow's son. Many years later, God miraculously provided through his own son, Jesus. Jesus is greater than Elijah. In Jesus, God provides salvation and life to everyone who trusts in him. Whoa, bro, totally sorry about that, didn't mean to do that. Whoa, bro, totally sorry, didn't mean to run into you. You all right? Cool, cool, hang 10, hang 10. Oh, 
okay, cool. Uh, you should probably watch where you're going, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. I, I'm totally sorry about that. I was just to talking to this totally awesome guy, but guess what? <laughs> I ran into him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, so who are you anyway? Oh, my name's Sean. You know, I like water, oceans, puddles, streams. You know, like water. What do you like? I like the ground, the dirt, the, the floor. It's kind of more my thing. Yeah, yeah, that, that's cool. I'm, I'm more of a water guy myself, but there was this one time I couldn't surf the most spectacular wave, you know? Oh, what, what happened? Well, I just got off this massive wave, actually, and then I wanted a snow cone, so I went and got a snow cone, and I left my board somewhere else, and then someone totally took it. Oh no, well, then what happened? Well, I was just chilling there, watching the other guys surf some giganto waves, you know, just missing out on it. And then, like, this guy totally comes up to me and is like, hey, you want a board to use? And I'm like, whoa, I didn't even ask. He just came up and gave it to me. So I got the board and I started surfing the waves and it was totally awesome. That sounds so awesome. Yeah. You know, that kind of reminds me of today's big idea. It says, God knows my needs. And it sounds like that guy knew exactly what you needed. Whoa, that's totally cool that God knows, like, what we need, you know? Yeah, absolutely. So do you want to help us go over today's big idea? That'd be rad. All right, everybody, let's say it together. Ready? God, God knows, knows my, my needs. needs yeah. Well, that was really, really good, guys. But I think there's some giganto waves happening over there. So you, no you might want to go catch them. I gotta go get my board. God knows our needs. It's time to stand up and worship him. As you're worshiping, keep in mind that God knows your needs and He cares for you. Let's take this time to worship the Father. God knows what you need. Today's comeback story about the life of Elijah and the widow was amazing. It was amazing that God knew exactly what they need. Have you ever had a big need in your life? Maybe there was something that you were praying for and you're like, I don't even know how this is even gonna come together. 
I want to remind you today that God knows our needs. He goes before you. He knows exactly where you are and he hasn't forgotten about you. So today what we're going to do is we're going to pull out a few key points out of our Bible story. So today we had Elijah. He had a need and he went to a widow. And the first thing that we see about this is that she admitted, hey, I have needs of my own. This is the very last bit of oil I have. Like, this is it. I'm going to make one more cake and then we are done. I don't see a future for us. So she was able to admit that. We can take a lesson from that. We have to admit sometimes when we need something. Our gracious heavenly father is so quick to take care of our needs. But if we ignore the need and we want to pretend like I don't have any needs, then he can never really help us the way that we need. It's kind of like this. Like I'm have this crown on my head. But imagine if I were just ignoring the fact that I had it on my head. And if you asked me about this crown on my head, I said, no, I have nothing on my head. Nothing is weird. Nothing is strange. Would that be a weird thing to say? Absolutely. Obviously, there's something on my head right now. It's kind of like us. When we have a need and we try to pretend like it's not really a big deal or it's not a need at all, our Heavenly Father knows exactly what's going on in our lives. So the sooner we're able to admit the sooner he's able to help us with those needs. He's able to provide for us. He is so good to take care of all of our needs. And the next thing is we've got to obey God's instruction. I can imagine for this widow, that could have been a very hard thing to do. She didn't know the end of the story. She was just being obedient to the man of God, but she just really didn't know how it was gonna end. It ended in God taking great care of them and they never ran out of oil or flour. Like it just kept flowing and flowing and flowing. And you know what? I love that when we follow God's instructions, which is found in his word, he takes good care of us. It might not look like we imagined it. It may not be a story like we would have written, but we know that our God is good and he takes good care of us. It's like if I were to hand you these instructions and you were going to go to my house. These are written exactly how to get there so that if you follow these exactly, you'll know where you are and you're never going to get lost. But it's the moment I hand this to you, you decide, ah, she's crazy. She doesn't know what she's talking about and get rid of the instructions. You may end up getting a little lost. You might not know exactly how to get to my house after all, because you've never been there before. It's kind of like the instructions that God gives us in his word. His word is full of ways that we can live a life that pleases him and honors him. But we have to look at the instructions that he's laid out for us. And so when we do that, we obey God's instructions. He's able to bless everything that we have in front of us. And the last thing is if I obey, he provides. God has this whole thing set up that when we look at his word, we follow his instructions. We can see as we obey, he's gonna take care of all the rest. That we don't have to worry about things because as our big idea states, God knows our needs. He takes care of them. And our greatest comeback story is when we realize that God is in control and he provides all that we have need of. Now it's time to respond to today's message. Sit together as a family and talk through these questions. Have you ever wanted something from God? What was it? Did God listen to you and answer your prayer? Now, spend time as a family talking about the things you need God to do in your life. Together, pray for each other that God will provide and hear your prayer.
Today has been so great. I love how our wonderful Heavenly Father takes care of our needs. Even when it seems like all hope is lost, God knows how the story will unfold. No matter what you need today, just remember our big idea. God knows my needs. Thanks for popping on today. And remember, you're God's kids. He has plans for you. He loves you like crazy. And we do too. We'll see you later.